But if you were to go to Psalm number 136, you would find that that psalm contains 26 verses. And every one of those verses in the same way. Verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And then, oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Go on down through Psalm 136 and you'll see that our God is a merciful God. This is Pastor Hayton sharing with you a few minutes on the Lower Lights devotional here on a Saturday evening. So as we're talking about the mercy of the Lord, I would ask you, where do you think any of us would be were it not for the tender mercies of our God? Now you read throughout the Bible and you see that God has always manifest great mercy. Uh, we read a lot about God's uh, relationship to the children of Israel. You know that they were his chosen people and God uh, certainly has always watched out for his people. And uh, as we study the journeys of the children of Israel throughout the wilderness land on their way to the promised land, one thing that is prominent throughout, and that is that God time and time again extended his mercy to them. Now mercy is nothing but just uh, uh, kindness and forgiveness, and uh, certainly God time after time showed his kindness, forgave them for their disobedience and their wanderings and their transgressions, and so we know that uh, throughout the Bible, God is portrayed as a God of mercy. But I think when Jesus came along and we read about him in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we see that uh, Christ kind of showed us the mercies of his heavenly Father as he manifest uh, uh, his kindness and his forgiveness wherever he went. He was just showing to us the mercy of God. Remember one place he said, He that has seen me has seen the Father. And so if he and the Father are one, then we know that all the many attributes and all the characteristics of God belong to his Son, Jesus Christ, as well. So Christ was a Christ of mercy. And everywhere he went, he met up with people that his heart went out to. He met up with people that he was able to minister to in a great way. And he was always kind, never judgmental or harsh, except maybe for the time that he went into the temple and drove out the money changers. But uh, in his one-to-one uh, -one or his dealings with the multitudes, we find that there's nothing but a spirit of love, compassion, and mercy. So I think about the mercies of the Lord, and where would I be today were it not for his mercy. You see, God sometimes knocks at the door of the heart wanting to come in, and we don't always respond right off. And where would any of us be were it not for the mercies of the Lord in time and time again, giving us an opportunity to open our heart's door to admit him into our life? Then I think, you know, after he comes into our life, there are times that surely we disappoint him. Maybe through our disobedience, through our carelessness, we disappoint our Lord. But he's always merciful, isn't he? And he's always willing to forgive. He's always willing to support us that we not do it again. So I think about the times that I've been such a disappointment. Those times that I've disobeyed. Those times that I'm sure that I could have done much better than what I did. Yet his mercy was extended to me. Kindness and forgiveness time and time again is the only thing that accounts for me enjoying a good relationship with him today. So as always down across the years of time, God has manifest his mercy and we see it in a very special way through our relationship with Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. His mercy endureth forever. Thank you for the tender mercies of our Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we're what we are today, a child of God, because of your tender mercy. 
May we always praise you that your mercy endureth forever. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. You find a good place to worship tomorrow. And I'll see you Monday on Lord Life's Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.